what's up everyone welcome back to sam cws learning series today's topic it's on elastic cash and the uh, redshift amazon elastic cash uh, uh, as the name says it's a in memory cache service it's a web service that makes it easy to deploy operate and uh, scale an in memory data store or cache in the cloud the service improves the performance of the web applications take note of it it is to improve the uh, you know performance of a web application by allowing you to retrieve information from fast managed in memory data stores instead of relying entirely on slower disk based databases amazon elastic cache supports two open source in memory engines they are you know pretty po popular uh, redis and uh, memcached if you recall our uh, database introduction session i was briefly covering this situation wherein i have a read heavy application and the database is you know getting consumed continuously and to save uh, the you know performance or to improve the performance and without doing any sort of reengineering the solution was to implement elastic cache and whenever the application uh, or you know the users are looking for the data from the cache uh, elastic cache will you know provide the data and uh, that connection it will not even you know go till the database and uh, you know the performance of the application will be you know better so that scenario yes elastic cache is the you know perfect uh, answer and uh, uh, as i said redis and memcached these are the two uh, open source platforms or the memory engines uh, amazon supports in elastic cache so redis it's a fast open source in memory data store and cache amazon elastic cache for redis is a redis compatible in memory service that delivers the ease of use and power of redis along with the availability reliability and performance suitable for the most of uh, you know demanding applications both single node and up to 15 shard clusters are available enabling scalability up to 3.55 tb of in memory data so it, it it's uh, basically you know it is using the redis open source platform and it is leveraging that and uh, same is the case with memcached it's another you know widely adopted uh, popular mem memory object caching system elastic cache is a protocol com uh, compliant with memcached so popular tools that uh, you use today with existing memcached environment same thing uh, you can you know uh, work with them without uh, any sort of you know trouble and then elastic cache uh, it has these advantages uh, uh, um, it's you know fail safe uh, automatically detects and replaces failed nodes reducing the overhead associated with self managed infrastructure and provides a resilient system that uh, mitigates the risk of overloaded databases which slow website and application uh, load times through the integration with amazon cloudwatch amazon elastic cache provides enhanced visibility into key performance metrics associated with uh, uh, your redis or memcached nodes so you can even you know uh, use the extensive capabilities of cloudwatch and uh, uh, you know get a uh, monitoring turned on for this uh, uh, elastic cache services and uh, you will you know get to know what is going on uh, uh, you know all the metrics are available to you and uh, based on that you can you can make a decision but again at the bottom line guys uh, elastic cache it is used to improve the performance of the database moving on we have uh, aws redshift amazon redshift it's a fast fully managed data warehouse that makes it uh, simple and cost effective to analyze all your data using standard sql and uh, your existing business intelligence tools bi tools it allows you to run complex analytic queries against uh, petabytes of structured data using sophisticated query optimization columnar storage on high performance local disks and uh, massively parallel uh, query execution i don't know how many of you are you know uh, familiar with uh, bi tools business intelligence tool um, if you have you know a um, huge amount of data uh, you need uh, something to you know store all of them in it and uh, we use uh, or we rely on uh, data warehousing technologies for that and uh, redshift it's uh, the you know data warehousing offering from amazon which will handle uh, data up to petabyte of uh, scale and then uh, another important thing another terminology which you wanted to know is uh, olap online analytical uh, processing uh, this is the technology behind many business intelligence applications olap is a powerful technology for uh, data discovery including capabilities of limit, limitless uh, report viewing complex analytical 
calculations and predictive what if scenario budget forecast and planning etc so you have this uh, huge amount of data and uh, you wanted to you know perform uh, analysis on that maybe to you know create uh, uh, some sort of you know analysis uh, uh, which will be you know uh, taken to the business or stakeholders if you wanted to you know uh, dig in deeper drill down and you know understand the trends and uh, things like that uh, for the business or uh, on based on the you know data which is provided you will be you know relying on business intelligence application the important thing is redshift is a uh, very very fast and most of the results come back in seconds uh, you can run the query and immediately you will be you know getting the results back um, it will go through all your data might be in you know petabyte scale and so on but still uh, the results are you know uh, returned uh, just like that with amazon redshift you can start small uh, cost wise it is you know effective it is uh, pretty cheap with no commencements and uh, scale out of two petabyte scale of data amazon redshift uh, it also includes a uh, redshift spectrum which is another feature it will allow you to directly run sql uh, queries against exabytes of unstructured data in amazon s3 no loading or transformation is required and uh, you can use open data formats including uh, you know popular things like csv ts v power query sequence and uh, rc file redshift spectrum automatically scales query compute uh, capacity based on the data being retrieved so queries against amazon s3 run fast regardless of the data set uh, size and uh, these are the you know features petabyte scale uh, uh, it will support uh, uh, data query your amazon s3 uh, no upfront uh, cost fault tolerant it is automated backups are provided uh, fast restores are you know possible network isolation encryption uh, here is the you know uh, use case situation um, uh, you have a database you have an application which has a database um, wherein all your you know uh, data is stored and uh, you wanted to you know perform some sort of reports on that every day you are you know planning to run certain reports on that and these reports um, you know if, if they are complex it's gonna you know um, break your database uh, latency will be uh, uh, a key player uh, you don't need to you know load the database just by running these uh, reports so we will you know take uh, take the data we will uh, uh, dump it into the data warehouse in our case it's gonna be uh, AWS Redshift and on the Redshift you can run the you know reports you have all the data available there results are pretty quick and that's it you can you know perform uh, all sort of you know analytical uh, operations on the data which is available that's why we use this and again let me tell you elastic cache it's to improve the application performance by uh, giving you an opportunity to have uh, elastic cache a cache mechanism and uh, redshift it's a data warehousing solution offered from amazon or aws which will help you to run uh, all app uh, transactions or uh, analytical uh, queries or analytical operations on your uh, data that being said uh, thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you in the next one